Meyer Hall is, was an instrumental, sort of a very important uh, uh, place in the physics history. In 2022, Meyer Hall, the primary lab and research base for the physics department at UC San Diego, was given historic designation by the American Physical Society. In its nearly 60 year history, several prominent researchers have worked there. In the 80s, I was a young man that came to UCSD and uh, this uh, was full of famous people. Uh, many, many famous people uh, that some of them I overlapped with, some of them I didn't. Maria Gopert Meyer, of course, after whom the building is built, wa was here. Uh, Margaret Burbage, who is probably one of the most famous astronomers, were here. Uh, Sally Ride, who's an, who's, a, who's an astronaut, was here. Uh, Walter Cohn was not here at the time, he had just left. Uh, Lou Sham, of course, of uh, famous uh, Lou J. Sham fame. Um, Shelley Schultz was here, who actually invented what are called metamaterials. Herb York was here, who was advisor to President Kennedy. Uh, there were many, many famous, I probably am forgetting some. Following a sabbatical in Paris, notable physicist Walter Cohn returned to UC San Diego in 1964, where he began working with physicist Lou Sham. Together, they laid the foundation of a computation method known today as density functional theory. Basically, what we do is called the density functional theory. He and uh, Pierre Homburg in Paris uh, already completed uh, a piece of work on density functional theory. So when he came back, we continued uh, the work, particularly so that uh, how to compute properties with it. The idea is to actually make the density distribution uh, be the driving force. The density distribution uh, is a function of the distribution. That's why it's called functional. It's a mathematical term. Density functional theory was basically developed in the fifth floor of the building, like I always say, two floors above my head. The Cohn-Sham equation, or density functional theory, would usher in an era of engineering new materials and drugs. The theorem presented new opportunities for calculations involving chemical structures and chemical reactions that were not previously accessible. It revolutionized the application of quantum mechanics to the study of molecules. It has been one of the most outstanding and influential contributions to the physical sciences in the last century having been cited over 50,000 times. For this work, Cohn received the Nobel Prize for Chemistry in 1998. Today, it's the most used technique, in fact, for calculating the properties of nuclei, molecules, polymers, macromolecules, surfaces, and bulk materials across the chemical and biological, as well as physical sciences. The chemistry is uses density functional theory. There's lots of people on this campus that I actually don't know all of, but there's uh, in the, in probably in the tens that are using density functional theory, and they don't even realize that this was invented right here. I'm uh, grateful for the uh, recognition that the density functional theory gets, and I think it was very nice to have it in Mayor Hall.